I'm sad I didn't wear like a zookeeper hat. I feel very underdressed. Like a tropical dad going on vacation. Hey everyone, it's me, Minecraft Jared. That's what I'm doing now for my job. Today, I'm gonna be trying the Zookeeper Challenge in RL Craft. I found this video as I was scouring the internet the other day of this guy explaining the RL Craft mod pack. The video is titled, The Hardest Minecraft Mod Pack You'll Ever Play. And I was instantly like, let's play that. We're gonna tame and house every tameable beast in this Minecraft mod pack, put them in a zoo for preservation. It's for their good. There's a lot of little rules. We'll get into it as we go. Also in the description down below, specifically for the zookeeper challenge, you can check those out if you wanna follow along with me. It's gonna kill me a hundred times, but it's gonna be so worth it because I care about the animals. There are so many things making horrible noises around me. Let's respawn hopefully somewhere very far away from where we are right now. Boop. First of all, I just heard Vickle <gasps> It's Bob, Ranger Bob. He's here to start a zoo. RL Craft spawns you randomly every time you die. So today we're in a beautiful forest and we gotta find a place to set up shop. We gotta get out of the forest into the frying pan. Here's a tower. I'm not gonna go in it. I found a pig. Also, what is this? This is an Arasaur. They're docile forest creatures, often seen munching on the tallest of trees. What's hurting me? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't even see what that was. Okay, well, take two. Now we've spawned in a nice open plains area. We don't even know what decade we're in. It'll be fine. But one thing we do know about Bob is that he's a family man. And that's why he set out to build this zoo. Bob has a daughter at home who cares very much about the planet and about animals. And he's making this zoo for her. There's, there's a dragon. <laughs> that is a fire dragon. They're super mean and super dangerous. We're not taming any dragons for our zoo. They are jerks. Get out of here, you floozy. There's also storm elementals. <laughs> I just want to find a house. I can't open a chest. What was that? It was smoke. It's fine. We're fine. I was turned into KFC by a dragon. I'm sweating already. Wow. So basically, in RL Craft, you can't just punch a tree to get wood. You got to use the proper tools for the job every time. Before you even chop down a tree, you have to like find gravel, get flint, make a flint knife then harvest the grass to make a hatchet, and then you can start cutting down trees. I'm not even worrying about that until I find a house. This is cue the orchestral John Williams soundtrack. With, this is a beautiful island. We gotta find a place to park it here, my dudes. Also, there's lava in the middle of the forest, which is catching the forest on fire. It's fine, we're fine, everything's fine. <gasps> I see civilization. Bob? Let's go. There's a lot here. <gasps> a fortress. Dude, run faster. He can't run because he's hungry. <sighs> I'm hungry. This is a giant tower. My Bob, <laughs> Bob's poor legs. I can live here and be okay. <laughs> Bob can live here and be okay. There's another room over here with more chests. There is a cooked chicken in this chest. Hallelujah. God is good. Look at her. We got chickens, we got fish. I'm so happy. Let's eat this chicken right now. I'm vegan, Bob's not. If I was randomly spawned into a world full of dragons and elemental creatures just begging to kill me, there's a dragon outside the window. It like hurt me, it's like, you talking about me? If I saw this outside the window, I'd be like, I'm too low on the totem pole to not be eating every animal in sight. I gotta assert my dominance in this world. So we're eating these finger licking good chest meats. That sounds so much worse. There's a cake in here. This is the best find that we could have hoped for. Truly, honestly, this is magnificent. You get out of here. It's nighttime, which means I can go to bed, which means I can set my spawn. And we did it, fam. We established a base. And it was in the place that I said was so beautiful I wanted to make a zoo anyway. Like, is this challenge gonna be doable? <laughs> Why am I, Why am I on fire? What's happening? Sir, sir, 
What are you? That is a cinder. They're very aggressive fire elementals whose bodies are formed by combusting the atmosphere around them. Get my vision's going very blurry. I'm thirsty. Okay. <gasps> we have to do something about our thirst right meow or else I am going to start dying. That took forever. I'm doomed. It's gonna take me until I am dead just to get back out of this room that I trapped myself in, which I just realized I don't have to do because the stairs to go down are here. Focus, Jared, you can do this. I'm on the quest for water, one of the most mm, innate human quests one could ever dream of questing. Ouch. That dragon didn't leave when I asked him to. I'm honestly so horrified of him. But Bob's not. <gasps> Iron ingots. Give me these, give me these, give me these. This is a great find. Oh my gosh, cobwebs, bones. Why are there so many chests over here? Bob found diamonds and gold? <laughs> Bob the Bala, coming through town. Bob the Bala, he's the flyest man around. He don't got flow though. But you know, it's 2019. You could be a rapper and not have flow. People like, like that now. It's just my scout. Ah! It's okay, this dragon just doesn't like us. So that's definitely a Patricia move. Sorry if you're watching this and your name's Patricia, you're awesome. But Patricia the dragon, you know why? It's because that vine where that dude just yells, PATRICIA! That happened in my head when that dragon killed me. Let's go get those chest meats. Honestly, this is just gonna be me. Oh, oh. Patricia! I'm worried I'm trapped in a Groundhog Day loop now. I'm just gonna keep running. I'm not gonna stop moving for a millisecond. Patricia might not have the best aim. She's shooting from pretty high up. If I'm, if I'm swift, um. Ooh. Oh my god. I don't I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. Okay, you know what? We're calling those chess meats officially lost. We didn't need gold ingots. We're just starting out a zoo. We only need dreams. So I found some gravel. We got gravel. Um Ouch. Hey Siri, how do I kill Patricia? Oh, there's actually um a GTA character named Patricia Madrazo. Interesting. Unhelpful. Please tell me it's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new... Creeper! <laughs> Run! Patricia's still here. How do we kill Patricia? I really think that's like basically end game move and we're um, beginning game move. So I'm gonna just run as far as I can away from Patricia and start doing something. Find a home base, check. Second mission is to Make a knife, that's all we gotta do. We just gotta make a knife. I found some sticks, easy peasy. That's half the equation. Now we just gotta find some gravel, punch the crap out of it. Gravel? <gasps> Hi, gravel. Best thing about this place is Patricia can't find us here. Maybe Patricia is just having a bad day, but that doesn't give her an excuse to take it out on poor little Bob. He's just trying to start a zoo. To think Bob's died like a thousand deaths already, and I think the only thing that's keeping him going is knowing just how much of a smile will be on his daughter's face when she sees this zoo. And I gotta say, that's the only thing keeping me here either at this point, fam. I'm sick of Patricia. My knife broke. Let's make this string. Also, I memorized that recipe for string. Bow down. I'm a Minecraft maniac. Okay, we got a flint hatchet. We're gonna make another flint hatchet. We're gonna make a third flint hatchet because something tells me those aren't gonna last very long. Either, now we can make whatever we want. I heard you can make a rain catcher. No, yes, rain filter, rain collector. How do I make this? I need an iron ingot, a bucket, and some stone. I don't have a bucket, but I can make a bucket with the iron ingots. <laughs> that is a dark nymph. These sweet creatures will heal all around them with a rejuvenating song. I offer you Seeds. Do you like that? She's like singing to me with her bell voice and it's kind of nice. 
Bye, thank you for not killing me. I don't think that that's a tameable beast. She can't be tamed. Okay, well that dark nymph's name is Miley then. Bye Miley, see you around. Is Patricia still around? My draw distance isn't like long enough to see where she- Patricia! <laughs> I just saw her. I just saw her. She aimed at me. She missed. Okay, we're gonna make a run for it. Um, this way. Patricia, Patricia, Patricia. <gasps> so then we ask ourselves, do we give up this beautiful palace with chest meets galore? Or do we just hope someday Patricia decides she doesn't care about this place. She's ready to move. What do we do? Oh my God, bottle of enchanting, cobwebs. Okay, I still don't see Patricia. Every time I open a chest, I then look right back up to be like, is Patricia here? Oh my God, night's coming. I'm putting all of these iron ingots and gold ingots in a chest because I wanna keep these and Patricia can't take nothing from me if it's in a chest in my house. Okay, I keep going out to the right. I'm just gonna go this way. There's meat. Ground meat, cooked chicken on the floor. I'll take it. I hear Patricia. She's mocking me. Look at her shake. <laughs> okay, I think she left. We see her and we can hide fast enough. We might not die. What is this? First impressions, this would make a great reptile house for our zoo. Let's see what our second impressions are. This is a very interesting structure. It's like floating? There are chickens on this floating rock. No, I'm on the floating rock. The chickens are off the rock. Is this a pumpkin? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get one of those chickens, and we're gonna get another one of those chickens, and then we're gonna have a chicken exhibit. But before we have that, we need to build it. So we need to go make another hatchet. <laughs> Miley's here. Just being Miley, going and twinkling around with her little bell voice. I love her. Patricia! <laughs> She's there. Man, I really love this game's- This is also- <laughs> No! I've been alive for so long! I simply can't die like this. Are we far enough? Okay. If I can't see Patricia, Patricia can't see me. I think that's how the rules of this universe are. You! Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, you want some of this? You want some of these seeds? Come here. Yeah! You're gonna be a showstopper. The star of the zoo! Your name is gonna be Beth. Beth the Bok Bok Chicken Lady. Come in. Don't drown! Oh my god. Patricia! Run! Don't lose Beth! Beth, also run! I'm poisoned. Oh. Patricia! <laughs> Today's forecast, we have a 99.9% .9 chance of Patricia, but right now the skies are clear. Are you Beth? Do you respond to the name Beth? She said yes, Beth. I need you to stay right here. I promise I will not forget that you are here. Beth, get back in your box! <laughs> Get in here. Yes, good job, Beth. Oh gosh, no, she's gonna get out again. I didn't have enough, no, oh, Beth, no, stay in here. Boop, Beth in a box. I put Beth in a hole in the ground so that I could make sure she's there for when I am ready for her. The ground here is known for being very porous. Bob knows that from his vast knowledge of the land. So he knows Beth can survive days buried underground. How does it keep getting nighttime so fast? Where's my house? It, there's my house. That's not my house. Where's my house? Ooh. It doesn't matter cause we're dead. I feel rejuvenated. Ah, it's a new day, a new dawn. No creeper. I want this hatchet and I want it real bad. I need at least two pieces of flint. Okay. We got it. Now we need sticks. Patricia, Patricia. Oddly enough, Patricia has left. Am I surprised? Yes. Am I disappointed? No. The recipe for a hatchet is one stick, one plant string, and one flint shard. We've done it. I feel like I'm gonna barf. 
<laughs> I'm like just waiting for her to come out of nowhere and be like, gotcha. And that's causing anxiety deep down inside my tummy. What we can now do is chop down a tree. This is unheard of. Mm, yeah. Just gonna, we're hiding. Okay, I think Patricia's gone. She's really gotta find something better to do with her time, dudes. No, she's back. Where is she? She's over there. Okay, we're gonna, she's looking in the other direction. I'm just gonna run as far this way as we can. I literally just wanna chop down one tree. Just one. Chop, 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 chop. Wait. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. Do you see that? I just chopped down a tree with a tool I made with my own two hands. Are you proud? I'll take that as a yes. Bye, Miley. I'm gonna go home and turn all of these pieces of wood into wood planks because then I could turn them into a fence and then I could put a chicken in that fence and then call it a zoo and then we're done. The whole video is done, the whole series is done. We can go home and we can forget about Patricia and pretend like she never happened because she's evil and I'm gonna dream of her tonight and cry. Don't mind me just crafting wood planks in my room because I am too, wait. Do I have to use a different tool? Shut up, Patricia. No one cares about your blog. <sighs> Should I be nicer to Patricia? Maybe. Oh, I need a saw? Two iron ingots and three sticks. Oh wait, I think I, <gasps> I think I have this. Whoa! Oh my God, yes. Yes, beach. Wait, how do I make a crafting table? <sighs> so I need a saw to turn wood into planks, but I need planks to turn planks into a crafting table to craft a saw. We can try to make planks out of this. Is this a plank? It is! <laughs> it's beautiful. We're putting this crafting table right here on this altar. It is, that's not a crafting table. That's a block. Okay, crafting table. Whoa! Bow down! Bob down! It's like late into the night. We're working like a crazed madman because we're finally seeing potential in ourselves and our future. I actually have to go to bed though because I have to go outside and punch one more tree to get another stick. I'm going blind again because I'm so thirsty. We have to go drink some tainted water. Ready? Mmm! I taste the sepsis. <laughs> it's kind of fun that you have to crouch to pick things up since it's so real. What are those? <laughs> that is an afrit. They are not very nice. Salamanders, however, aren't really that bad. That looks like a hell spawn. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> I hear her wings. There she is. Just end me. <laughs> I worked hard for those sticks and I want them because I want that saw because I want to make wood planks because I want to make a fence because I want to put my chicken in my zoo! Patricia's still here. Patricia's still scary, but we got three sticks and we're gonna make a run for it. <laughs> I run so slowly. No! I think we made it. <laughs> Wait, when I died earlier, did I have the ingots in my inventory? I don't got any more iron cause it was in my inventory when I died. Patricia won't leave me alone and I hate her, she's a mean girl. I need those ingots. I'm going back to get them and there's nothing any of you can do to stop me. <laughs> Please stop me. I hear her flapping above me. I'm just gonna ignore it. <gasps> she killed me, surprise. This is testing me as a human. Here's a dealio. Is there more than one Patricia? Is that how I keep dying? Or is she just really following me around? She's like, I smell that Bob character and he smells shady. Which I don't know why, I'm a really nice guy. Okay, I died all the way over there by dragon! <laughs> there's more than one Patricia in this story. I'm just now learning. Okay, there's a lot of tree cover in between me. God. Just go somewhere else, queen. You got friends? Do you got hobbies? I don't. I got this zoo. Ah. How did you see me? God, there's so much death and destruction around me. I just want iron to make a saw. 
What? You leave me alone, sir! Please! I'm just but a humble bob! Golden nymph. You're regenerating my health. I love you. Oh! Ooh, I found a... More... 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 Okay, cool. I found a waystone. But now... It's getting to be nighttime again, and I'm starting to think that we're just gonna have to leave Beth in that hole for longer than we anticipated. Do, 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 do. Okay, <gasps> I found more chests. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Okay, I found 22 iron ingots. The only problem being, it's now nighttime. I can't let that phase me. We're just gonna take like a really... Two. Whoa! I forgot that I respawned near the waystone. Oh no. Something pick put me down! What are you? This is a rock. They'll pick up anything from eggs to people, so you better watch out. Patricia's got bully friends. Put me down! Where are we going? I don't I I I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Patricia. This dragon's Ooh. awake instead. <laughs> By clicking on that waystone, I set my waypoint when I die to it instead of my bed. So now I keep spawning in the middle of Death Valley, USA. That sucks. So I gotta actually, before I do anything, I gotta go back to my bed and ah. set my waypoint. I just wanna be home. And everything in this world is working against me. And I literally feel like I'm trapped. And it feels bad, man. Is this what sea monkeys feel like? They're trapped. They can't go home. They're in a bowl in like a four-year-old's room being neglected and forgotten about because they're so small. My house is right here. Oh, Jesus, we made it. Okay, so moral of story is don't click on the waystones. They're dangerous. I'm so nauseous. Okay. <sighs> RL Craft, the hardest mod pack you've ever played? Yes! At the end of the day, we do have some wins under our belt today. We found a bitchin' house. We got Beth in an enclosure. Zoo is already happening. Throw me your zoo names in the comments down below. And also, if you have any pesky dragon tips, Please let a boy know. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs>